the bottom of the page. Eight lines. The line begins with the word masculine. Page noon. Yeah, I'm ready. Um, so <coughs> the immediate past that we have just now concluded was discussing the principle, the two principles of, of Ashpo Atzmis, Ashpo Gufnis, and Ashpo Ruchnis, Ashpo Zaseichel. How, as it is found in the human arena, that I mean, we discussed it in quite, quite definitively, <coughs> that the child, this is the father. This is not a derivative, <coughs> an effect. This is the father. Which was Ashwa Atzmis. Whereas in Seichel, when the Mashpia, it bestows Seichel to the Makabu. So the Rebbe says something unique in this um, in, in this uh, iteration, we always understand that the Mashpia is teaching seichel to the makabel, and the makabel understands the seichel with his own with his own capability of seichel. The Mashpia is only guiding him and showing him how to understand it. But essentially, the understanding is is his his coming from his own oil haseichel. We discussed yesterday. It is his own recognition of the Indian. It is not that the Mashpi is giving him that cognizance. <coughs> and then the Rebbe says something. He said something unique in, in terms of of defining this this element. That that even though that the Mashpia actually brings the Talmud to the point where the Talmud is able to use his Seichel independently of the Mashpia, to understand anything that he wishes to understand <coughs> without having the input of the Mashpia, which would seem to be <coughs> that he's actually, <coughs> that he's actually <coughs> created the Koyaha Seichel in the Mashpia, in the Mushpa. He says, no, that's not the case. He didn't create the Seichel. It is that the, that the, that the, 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 the Mashpia was able to reveal and draw the Seichel from the Mushpa the way it is by him. And all that he understands is always based on his, his own, the, the Koyach of that is in the Oyer that is, that is that is his own. And yet, we do see, the Rebbe doesn't, point out these various <coughs> aspects where he does allude to them. We do see that the Mushpa, after having the influence of the Mashpia, of the Rav, will tend to understand things with the same approach and the same kind of, uh, of depth um, uh, that, the, that the Mashpia has, um, has taught him. So you may think that, that from that perspective, that this is an actual input that the Mashpia gave him a seichel to understand things in a certain way. So the Rebbe says that's not the case. There is definitely an influence, a definitely an effect, but the effect is what's called <coughs> hakiko. It, it, the, the, the Mashpia has the effect on the, on the seichel of the Talmud and he has his own seichel. But he makes a hakiko, he makes an imprint in the seichel of Talmud. <coughs> And as a result of this imprint, the Talmud would then really <coughs> begin to understand things with the same with, with the same approach, with the same uh, uh, principles as the Mashpi has given him. But it's not the Seichel Mashpi; it's Seichel Talmud. And the principle of Hakiko. The use of the word hakiko, hakiko means means engraving, <coughs> which is 
definitely a very profound effect. Just like something, an engraving. You have you have a written word and you have an engraved word. A written word is on the surface of, of the is on the surface. Even though you're actually reading the, the written word the way it was written. But the parchment itself was not affected. And since the parchment itself was not affected, so if you would use the same parchment to write something else, there would be no interference. There would be no influence from the previous writing. Besides the fact that writing can be erased, it can be can be sprung up, but besides that, <coughs> the, the, the writing is on the surface, the parchment was not affected. And it cannot be said that you that the parchment becomes one with, the, with that which is written on it. Whereas in Hakiko, there is definitely a, an effect an effect. And what you're looking at is not the written word but the but the, the parchment or, or the stone as it was as it the stone itself represents these words. This means Hakiko. Similar union is in Seychel Hatam that uh, the Rav Meshe Kiko in the Seichel HaTalmud which means that the 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 <coughs> Seichel HaTalmud then uh, acquires that form that the that uh, of the Seichel HaRav and therefore he will continue to understand and understand all kinds of new things that the Rav did not directly teach him, but he will have that in that influence, that imprint. And because of this imprint, we may mistake and think that the Rav has actually given him Seichel, but it's not the case. He affected his Seichel, but he didn't give him the Seichel. Whereas in the case of a child, he gave him everything he has, his home it is. <coughs> now we continue further. This is wrote down this is for the purpose of a marshal to understand the way things are in the creation of the world. Okay? So in the middle of the line that which begins with the word masculine. Ukmoy Kain. A similar Indian. I do not, I, I, I do not know the question. Let me say, ask you this. Let me uh, for, for, Do you mean that the father owns the son? Uh, I think yesterday we mentioned the word that it's not that the father owns the son, or the father is the son. Right. Or the so son is the father. We, he gave him everything. He gave him everything that it's, it's not him. He gave him. He gave him of himself. <coughs> if you are emphasizing the word he gave, and the word giving usually applies to something that you that is external, something that you possess and you give. Whereas in the case of birth, it's not you don't give him. You give him yourself, and as a result of that, there is that there is the there is a child. So the giving there is a is a correct word, but it has to be properly um, uh, qualified. He does not give him something that he possesses. He gives gives him his, himself <coughs> of himself, and this is why the child is is a real entity, <coughs> equal to the father. <coughs> Moi <coughs> came. When, when you say uh, it's a mashal for what's happening in the world, is this uh, 
we understand that it's uh, how Hashem engraves in, in His presence into the world, into into our. Yes, but probably Hashem is living. Hashem actually created the world. Okay. In, in terms of neshamas, there's two types of two levels of creation. There's the world, and then there's the neshamas. Mm -hmm. So into the neshamas. Neshama, this is representative of Hashem Himself. No matter. Kmoi Kain be his havos. So the similar union is be his havos in the creation. Be his havos in the beginning of his And there's a creation that comes um, from, the, from the aspect of the etzim itself. Not that he makes something, but that something comes to be from his essence. So there ha his ha was who ho ats me mamo. His ha was is that which comes to be is the ats me mamosh, is the essence itself. And it's as real as the that which created. Moila Milo, as the uh, we speak about the things that they were the way they are Lamilo. So Lamilo there is that which is called the Hinas Attic. There is a, there is Oilam Hatzilus. Oilam Hatzilus essentially begins from Chokma on down, Chokma Dhatsil, the ten spheres. Above that there is a, there is a madrega that's called Attic. And what is this attic? The word attic um, is translated in two ways. Attic and attic yoimin. Attic means the old one. And then there is also the word attic, which means something that has been derived, it's separated and taken from something that already exists, and and, and you 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 took some of it and moved moved it from it, like hatoka, to move. To move something does not mean that you create. You take you take of the essence and you move it. So the madriga of attic in atzilus. Is <coughs> is that which is higher than world? It is a creation. It's it's, it's so to speak. It's in the uh, in the world arena, and yet it's called attic. What is attic? Why is it called attic? Shezehu ha tokas ha atzmis. It is called attic. Because it's Hatokas Atmos, it is like the copy or the moving from the atom itself. <coughs> As the expression is, Nimis Abo, Shuhup Nimis Atik Mamosh, Kana. Nimi is Abba, like this is uh, a very broad subject, and it's brought down here only to illustrate the, the point that there is such a thing in my We just translated as much, as much as befits this particular quote. Abba refers to Chochmah. <coughs> and in Chochmah, there are, in Chochmah itself, there are also different madrigs. There is the Chochmah as it is 
recognize as it is mashpia to bino. Chochme as bino can ab- observe it. And then there is what's called pnimi is abba. <coughs> the pnimi is the essence of the chochme. The pnimi is abba is not a hashpo, is not something which is observable. Shuhu pnimi is atik mamosh, it is the very <coughs> essence of the attic itself. <coughs> to, I'd like to elaborate on this because, because it would help us on a different arena. <coughs> We pointed out many times that chokhmo on the physical level is is uh, <coughs> represented by the experience of sight. <coughs> Just as in chokhmo there is and, and, and there's what's called the Borog HaMavrik. There is a, there is a, a glance, an instantaneous glance. And this instantaneous glance um, allows you to, to see the entire truth. And as we see it in, in sight, in physical sight, which really is a, is a marvelous, marvelous experience. Physical sight... <coughs> It's almost impossible to really explain what kind of expe- how that happens, what kind of experience it is, because in an in instantaneous glance, you can observe a huge expanse of space and everything that's 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 in it. How does that happen? Everything has its own place. And therefore, it has to it has to have its own time, which which tells us that at that level of sight, we are seeing things at a much deeper, a more essential level than meets the eye, than that which is being being expressed. We are seeing things not because they're expressing themselves, but because they are truly there. The way <coughs> we try to, 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 to represent it, which is true, but that requires an additional uh, explanation. We see things not the way we see them, which means we, we, the way we discover them, but the way they're being shown to us. From, from from their source, mm. and it gives us the, the sense of absolute reality. Mm-hmm. <coughs> this absolute reality, in sight, we are seeing a physical entity. A physical entity is not an absolute reality, which points to the fact that. Pnimius abo pnimius The way we see things in chokhmah, even though it's it's an observation, the way we see things in in sight, in pure sight, even though it's an observation, but we don't observe it from an observable perspective. We observe it from its inception. And chokhmah also sees things from its inception. This is the meaning pnimius abo pnimius That the pnimius what chokhmah observes is not the observable part, but it's essential truth. How come it's true? What gives things a presence? In the physical world, I'll I'll, I'll give us a little bit of a handle on this, just a a contrast. In the physical world, the way we observe the physicality of the world, and, and the way things present themselves. So, okay, if this is here, 
then this cannot be in the same place. It has to be next to it. The reason it has to be next to it is because this already occupies this space. Then this has to occupy a different space. This is the way it is in the, in the, in the physical level. From the perspective of Primius Attic, everything is not where, the, where it finds its place. Everything is where it belongs, where it originates. Nothing takes up the space of anything else. This is the fact that you see things from a, from a truth perspective. This is Attic, this is an Atzmi. Everything is the way they should be, the Atzmi. There are no extraneous effects. They're not circumstantial effects. Oh, you were here first, therefore I have to be next to you. Everything is where it belongs. Uh, Shlomo called that earlier. Oh, the, I disconnected it. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this is the shot <coughs> that you have the Edson on, 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 a, on, on, on a recreated level. Attic is an etzim element. Like we say, primis abba primis attic. And like we explained in, in sight. In sight you see things not the way they are being shown or presented. And when they exist, you see them where they come from. Not where they are coming from, but rather than where the, uh, the, uh, the, the source is producing them. How they are in the source. This is why sight is such a reality, such a convincing thing. Okay. Kmoi Kain, who be Neshomus? The similar linen is by Neshomus. Shemahosom, where their essential presence is, who be Chinas Ho'oir, Ho'atz Mimamo. <coughs> it is the beginning of the oil atzmi. It is the, the essential oil itself. Now, oil ho atzmi, we already explained. The word atzmi, we are not even attempting to put into words to explain, but we, we know what it refers to the essential reality itself. Oil ho atzmi means how that essential reality is present in its in, in its domain, in its environment. Like we said in the Moshe, the, the person in his home, it is not his exp effect, his spread, it is himself present everywhere in his home. That's what the Oyer Ho'atz. The Shomesh represents the Oyer Ho'atz. In other words, the Shomesh represents the fact The fact that there is an atzim. Not that there is oil, but that there is an atzim. The cash and how his heart was he. <coughs> so thus, when the his house, when the creation is from only a ha'oro, ha'oro means the effect, the functional element of the of the oil. He ne hadover hamiz have so there, that which comes into being, ain't zem mehuz hamahava mamush. 
<coughs> it is not the reality of the creator actually <coughs> there are two separate things as the creator and that which which comes off and which, which it affects because the koyak that creates the power that creates nasa bebkhina smoke or lahi his hops is only a has the quality of a mocker as a source for these hops but not <coughs> that it becomes part of the his hops One moment, one moment, one moment, not time for the question. <coughs> um, I'm just going to explain these words because we have to interrupt. Um, I'm Koya Hamahava Nasa Bukhina smoke on his house. The Koya that creates has a, the effect of being a mocker, a source for the his house. Not that it is the his house. <clears throat> I'm going to use the same illustration that we illustrated before in sight and in Chochmah. <coughs> Pardon me. At the Matthias level, when you have two things in our physical world, you have two things, they have to be next to each other, each one occupying its own space. Why? Because, because one already occupies that space. Therefore, the other one has to be in a different space. So the multiple possibilities that space provides, this is what provides for many things. The reason there could be two chairs is because there is space for two chairs. This is the way this is on the, on the created level. <coughs> Now, if you look at uh, this at a slightly higher level, if this is, so to speak, a bismedish, a bismedish inherently accommodates more than one person. <coughs> Which means that the fact that there are two chairs is because there has to be two chairs. But there is another person, so therefore he brings another chair. There has to be more than one chair. From the definition of the or the which matter she is. Not to accommodate, but from the essential definition of what is which matter she is. This is called a mocker. It provides for a broader, for a broader uh, 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 reality, for broader presence. And as a result of that, it results in multiple chairs, and these chairs are one next to the other. They don't interfere with each other. Because this method provides for multiple people. <laughs> It's a very important concept. I have to interrupt, and time is up. In the world, the way the world looks at things is horrifying. That there's a constant conflict going on between everything that exists. And we see it. We don't see it that way at all. This is what it says: Amikel Shaka. That means that I have enough for everything, for everybody. 
if you are drawing your highs from me, it's never going to be a shortage. This is it for this morning.